handle difficult situations is to talk to someone you care about, to a professional. Sharing the experiences that are shaping you helps you heal. Tonight, an ICU nurse on overnights helping COVID-19 patients heal tells us her story. It's one of tragedy and triumph. These are really sick patients when they get to us in the ICU, um, so they require a lot of attention. Most, if not all of them, are intubated, so they're on the ventilators. A lot of these patients aren't just lung illnesses, a lot of other things, a lot of dialysis machines. So there's a lot of spinning wheels that we need to keep track of. The majority of my shift is at the bedside. It's just really physically and emotionally exhausting. So a lot of the times going home is crying on the way home. <laughs> a lot of tears for our patients, for not being, them not being able to see their family, for their family not being able to see them and, and not being able to help them like we hope that we can. I am thankfully back home now, but um, I was in six different hotels for 41 days. Um, and we just decided it was better because there was the uncertainty, but I need to make sure that my family is safe and that's my number one priority. It was really difficult. I had a lot of really difficult nights and sleeping was really hard. You know, I would FaceTime my family every night or twice a day, but it wasn't the same as going home and getting to embrace my family. It's difficult for the general public. They don't see how serious this can be. I've literally held a dying patient's hand because their family couldn't be in the, at the bedside with them. It's very serious and it's definitely not over. Advice to stay the course and stay safe. Thank you for watching tonight. I'm Dina Baer. For all of us here at WGN, 